WBLA, the CW. He is one of the most dangerous men in the entire world, and I say that without a hint of exaggeration. This is Dan Henderson. Trained in Greco-Roman style wrestling, Dan has fought in the Olympics twice and holds the Pride Fighting Welterweight Championship belt for mixed martial arts. Strangest part of it all is he's also a really nice guy. That being said, he was more than happy to throw me around like a sack of potatoes. Dan is also trained as a dirty boxer, which is his way of striking fast and keeping control. I typically like to have an underhook and this collar tie and let go of the underhook to strike. You're wide open for some knees. Uh -huh. And all I've got is one free arm. Right. Even when you have him in a perfect choke, he slides right out. Dan gave me a few tips on takedowns I won't soon forget. Then he finished me off with his jokes. Get choking you. You know when Dan Henderson's putting on his gloves, it's time to leave. Dan will now fight for the middleweight pride title on February 24th in Las Vegas. And if he is successful, he will be the first mixed martial arts fighter to hold two belts in two separate weight classes. He will be facing his longtime rival, Vanderlei Silva the current middleweight champion of Pride. It's been six years since their last fight in which Silva beat Henderson by decision. Looking at our faces afterwards, you wouldn't think I was the one that lost, but you know, he won the fight. He did a good job then, and, and I'm much more prepared and, and much more skilled now than I was then. Uh -huh. Like a choke, like a choke. He's not the only one who thinks that. Brazilian jiu-jitsu professor John Machado has trained many pride fighters over the years and says Dan has the edge. I think he's more mature, he's, uh, his mind is uh, better prepared. You know, the mental game is the key, so you must be ready physically and mentally. The night is set, the players are ready, and like all mixed martial arts, anything goes. From the Machado Brazilian jiu-jitsu studio in Culver City, Jamie Chambers, KTLA News.